What's going on everybody? This is Mortem bringing you a little more gameplay as I level up my Revenant and work him through the personal story Which due to all of the extra experience things they give to people lately is really all I need to do to level up And I haven't had much of a chance to play him because of the holidays things like that I was sick my voice is still a little sketchy so for that I apologize but where we are in the personal story is the introduction to the three story-related guilds, uh, not the free ones that everyone makes, but the Order of Whispers, the Vigil, and the Dermon Priory. We are at the point of the personal story where it just kind of introduces the player to them. So let's talk to Ritlock and see what he has to say. Listen close, Centurion. We've got a serious problem and you're already involved. The Orders of Tyria have come to me about one of your soldiers, Howl the Brazen. Howl's dead, sir. He died fighting Duke Baradin. I've seen his grave. Yes, and before he died, Howl apparently bought a dangerous magical amulet from the necromancer Rissa. Where that amulet goes, the undead follow. Rissa has been distributing them all over the region. The Orders want to examine Howl's amulet to see what they're up against. The High Legions want to forge a working relationship with the Orders. So you're going to join their investigation. Reps from the Vigil, Derman Priory, and the Order of Whispers will meet you at Howell's grave. Confer with all three, but focus on the one most likely to get results. Got it? Yes, sir. Howell was one of mine. I'll do whatever it takes to get to the bottom of this. Okay, so it looks like we need to go find our former legionnaire Howell's grave because apparently a necklace he bought has been raising the dead. So we will head there and see what's what. Alright, so here we are at our old legionnaire Howell's grave. And it looks like these are the order reps here. It's also about dragons and the undead. So you still think this necromancer Rissa is an agent of the Elder Dragons? A Titan, yes. Don't ask how I know, it's the Order of Whispers' business to know things. The Priory concurs. We don't know much about Rissa, but we do know she was corrupted. Then finding and killing her is our priority, not digging around in graveyards. That's why Brimstone sent us a Centurion. Our orders never agree on anything. Okay, so, there you go. Welcome, Centurion. Glad to have you with us. I am Yahala Scribepaw of the Derman Priory. My colleagues are... I don't need you to speak for me. I'm Gon Towerbreaker of the Vigil. Glad to have another military mind on this mission. I am Kurakon, concerned blacksmith from the Order of Whispers. We specialize in covert activity. Information, infiltration, and assassination. I'm sure Tribune Brimstone briefed you, but to review, all three orders are dedicated to stopping the Elder Dragons. Your late bandmate may be connected. I understand the mission parameters. Hal's grave is right there. What are we waiting for? See? That's how a military mind works. Identify the problem, attack it head on. None of this sneaking around, talking things to death. We were waiting for you, Centurion. There's a complication between us and the objective. Namely, a throng of undead grubs. And since this used to be a bandmate of yours, we thought it prudent to wait before we dug him up. Now that you're here, though, let's start squashing. Okay. So we gotta clear out Howell's grave. And in the meantime, so the Vigil is all about military might, uh, very direct, as Tower Breaker might have tipped you off to. Uh, the Order of Whispers, as it sounds, is more about keeping to the shadows, assassinations and things. Whereas the Dermond Priory is mostly uh, knowledge is power type of group. Uh, we're probably going to join the Order of Whispers when we get the chance to join one, because after the end of this intro, you get to choose which order you would like to join to continue the personal story. And personally, I just like the Order of Whispers the most. So 
kill these last two grubs up here. Uh, I have actually played through all three of them. And I would still have to tell you that the Order of Whispers is, to me, the most fun. But the other ones aren't bad. Their stories are good still. But let's examine Howl's Grave. No amulet here. There is no body. Either someone dug up your friend or he dug himself out. If Gon here wasn't so humorless, I might say, this is a dead end. Go hammer your anvil, blacksmith. The adults are talking. Look, our objective hasn't changed. We still need to secure one of those amulets. I'm afraid I must leave that to you two. Without the amulet in hand, I need to confer with my colleagues before the Priory can commit to a course of action. We have the necromancer's records. We know the location of at least two more of Riss's trinkets. I say we start in Drugar's homestead. Me and my fellow blacksmiths do a lot of business there. We have valuable contacts at the location that we can't afford to lose. Scorch what your associates can afford. The people of Snowdrift Haven have already been attacked, and they need our protection now. You can't save everyone, Crusader. And since our new friend here can't be in two places at once, who are you going to protect, Centurion? Okay, so as this is an introduction, they basically, over the course of a couple missions, force you to work with each one of the orders by giving you a choice between one of the two. You can kind of stick to them, but chances are you're probably going to do a mission with all three of them at some point. Personally, though, we are going to pick Koru Khan the Blacksmith's mission. Fight what cannot be fought. And we will be meeting him at Drugar's homestead, which is where we will be headed next. All right, so here we are at Drugar's steading, and we will see what we can learn Lots of about the amulet that Risa apparently distributed to the area. We will talk to the inhabitants, of course. First, Clay starts acting all creepy, and now Char? This day just keeps getting weirder. Your place, right? We're here about the amulet you got from the necromancer Rissa. It's dangerous and very. Oh no, you don't! You can't have this. It's mine. Get away! Settle down, Mister. That amulet is cursed. It's a threat to the entire. Get away! I said I paid for this amulet. It's mine. Mine! I'll never give it up. We don't have time for this. Listen here, crazy. We're taking that amulet, one way or another. Hand it over. Never! Help me, my friends! The Char have come to kill us all! That's not exactly true, but I'm not sure that those were the friends he was talking about, as the undead are now swarming the area. So, we will of course fight the undead off. go track down Clay's who ran away from the stead proper who will probably not be the most friendly of persons ah, well looks like he's dead actually so there is that 
Well, let's get him on his feet. Since that way. Being attacked by some thralls here. Alright, so let's revive Clay, see what he has to say. Oh, and he went undead on us. So we'll have to kill him and his friends who also spawn. Right, we can not get knocked down a bunch, that is usually helpful. Alright, there we go. That didn't work out as planned, did it? I thought the Order of Whispers liked to keep things low-key. We do. But sometimes we have to make a little noise in order to quiet things down. With Clay's down, we can take his amulet back to the Black Citadel and get to know it better. I don't know what the Priory will make of it, but my associates will give Riss's sweet little bauble a thorough going over. Let's move out. I want to find out how it works, how we can shut it down, and what all this has to do with how. Alright, so we'll be going to meet up with Ritlock at the Char's home area. Which is where we'll be headed next, and then we'll see what everyone has to say there. Okay, so now that we are back at the Heroes Canton in the Black Citadel, we simply have to meet up with Ritlock and the Order's representatives to find out what they have to say about the amulet we recovered. As is the order of whispers. The dragons want us to cover them individually. That's why we shouldn't do it. Glad to have you both aboard. We're going to need reliable information from here. On, not to sell the vigil short. Their firepower is always an asset. No need to flatter me, Tribune. I know researchers of the vigil strong suit. As long as what we're doing eventually leads to the dragons, we don't mind taking a back seat. Temporarily. Okay, so let's talk to Ritlock here. Reporting in, Tribune. We have one of the Necromancer's amulets. Now we just need to figure out how to deal with it. Top Priory researchers are standing by to determine how the amulet works, and more importantly, how to neutralize it. My sources say the Inquest has already completed their research on one of these amulets. Why waste time repeating their efforts when we could just acquire their results? I don't trust the inquest methodology. This is too important not to handle ourselves the right way. You scholars and spies know more about the right way to collect data. The Vigil will be standing by when there's action to be taken. It's your call, Centurion. Do you want to assist the Order of Whispers retrieval mission or the Priory research effort? Good question. And for the sake of showing everyone kind of how each of the individual orders works, since we picked the Order of Whispers last time, we will go ahead and go with the Priory's option this time. But that is going to do it for part one of this introduction to the Orders of Tyria part of the personal story. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the content, please subscribe, but I hope you guys have a good day either way.